Hi guys, this is Jamin here with Point Tech. We're bringing you another do-it-yourself laptop repair video. Uh, this is a fix for a dead laptop that won't start. Uh, this is a common solution uh, for if a laptop won't start and is completely dead. Uh, if your computer starts part way, if you can hear fan noises or see lights or if any other way, if your computer is starting part way, um, we have other videos uh, for that. Uh, this lap video is specifically for if your laptop is completely dead. This is a more intrusive fix. Uh, we do have another video, the laptop no power fix video, that will be listed down bottom, the link for it. Uh, try that first. If that doesn't work, come back to this video, because uh, this video is a little more intrusive. We're going to be opening the computer up and playing with the motherboard and things, so it's, it's best to try the easier fix first. So every laptop uh, has on the motherboard what's called a CMOS battery, C-M-O-S. Uh, they will look something like this. Uh, you'll only have one of these on your motherboard, but it will look something like this. It'll either be a loose battery, kind of like a gigantic watch battery, uh, or it will be that same battery just wrapped up with a, uh, with a plug. Uh, but that's what you're going to be looking for. That's what we're going after when we get inside this laptop. This CMOS battery, it supplies power to the uh, BIOS or your base system, even when your machine is, is turned off. Uh, so we're going to remove this battery, which will cause BIOS to reset to factory settings, uh, which can sometimes help your computer to revive uh, when it's entirely dead. So now this BIOS reset we're doing, this is not to be confused with an operating system reset. Um, that's what you do from your desktop, and that resets your, your operating system, but this is just going to be your BIOS system. So let's, uh, let's get inside this computer. I flipped it upside down. First we're going to take out the battery. This has a lock on it there. Your computer may or may not have something like that. There we go. Take the battery out. And then we'll start removing some screws. So I'm going to take the palm rest off. Uh, it's connected by a couple ribbon cables. I'm going to unplug that, take that off. Unplug this one, unplug that one. Take this off. Uh, so this is our motherboard. As you can see, there's no CMOS battery. That's because, unfortunately, it's on the underneath. Yay for us. So. Let's start taking this motherboard off so we can get under there. Undo this ribbon cable as well, move that over. Hard drive over here. Uh, what else needs to be removed? This needs to be removed. Uh, Wi-Fi card needs to be removed. Some computers have a nice little access panel on the bottom you can get at your CMOS battery. If you have that, you are fortunate. This is why we said it's a little intrusive of a fix. If you don't have, to, if you can do this with the other fix, you're better off. Okay, let's move this out here. Apparently the heat sink is connected to the fan, which isn't always the case. Okay, so we had the motherboard out. As you can see, remember we showed you the two CMOS battery possibilities? There it is. You're actually going to see this loose version a lot more often than you're going to see this, uh, but you will see this from time to time. Uh, so there's your CMOS battery. 
Uh, as always, when you're working with a motherboard, I know that it's unplugged and there's no power next to it, but it, especially when you're taking it out, be careful. Because uh, if you touch anything with your screwdriver, especially if you forgot to take your battery out, which don't forget to take your battery out, um, you can damage your motherboard, so just be careful. Um, now, your CMOS battery is held in here kind of like any battery is held in in a remote or a flashlight. There are springs in there uh, that are holding it in. So I'm going to take my little flathead and gently I'm going to push this back against the spring so that the springs underneath will pop it out. But be careful because this little um, battery cradle, uh, it, it, it's made out of very flimsy plastic and it can break and then your CMOS battery won't sit in there. So, so be careful when you're taking it out. I'm going to push it in like this so that it pops out. One part's out. Okay, so that one took a, I don't know why that was so hard to get out. But yeah, I, I pushed it in and lifted it up and then it comes out. So you wanna, uh, you wanna hold this out uh, for 15 to 20 minutes. Um, then after that time, you're gonna reattach it. It's very easy, just put it in there. A lot easier going in than out. Uh, again, do that after 15 to 20 minutes. And that should be enough to reset um, your, your BIOS system. If this has successfully worked and your computer does come on, uh, you will need to access the BIOS setup utility. You'll need to reconfigure some of your hardware settings. Uh, you'll need to fix your date and time settings, uh, which there'll be a video for in the uh, description below. If you don't reset those settings and make them correct, it, 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 it will mess things up uh, in your computer. If, however, this does not work and your computer still does not turn on even after the, the video you tried before and then you came here and tried this one and your computer is still not working uh, and, and not powering on, we have some videos in the description where you can test your charger, you can test your power jack uh, to make sure that your computer is actually getting power. Um, but if this was helpful, uh, please like and share. Uh, if you like do-it-yourself laptop videos, please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.